Did you realise that our rail freight operations literally help provide power for Great Britain? Yes, it helps us boil the kettle, watch TV, plug in our phones, and yes, you can tell the kids it even helps power the Wi-Fi. And that's why we brought you here to Drax Power Station to show you exactly what we mean. So welcome to the Freight Escape. So why is rail freight so important for the generation of energy in Great Britain? Because when you come to places like this at Drax, North Yorkshire, that you understand the importance of what we do. We provide almost an endless supply of biomass. This is a fuel that provides enough energy for almost four million homes. It's amazing what you can find out about the importance of freight and the operations here at Drax. And I am very excited to show you right now what it looks like. Come on. Wanted to understand more about the importance of Drax within the energy sector. So I spoke to the plant director. So here we are in the heart center, the nerve center of the power station. And Bruce, you're going to help me understand the operations because your role title is? So I'm Bruce Eppistall, I'm the plant director here at Drax Power Station, so responsible for all site operations. So Bruce, what is biomass? So at Drax Power Station we're generating around 11% of the UK's renewable power. So we bring that biomass over from North America, comes across uh, the Atlantic by ships, into the three ports in the UK, Immingham, Tyne and Liverpool, where then the vast majority of that biomass is put onto trains and brought here using the rail network. And what can we do in Network Rail to give you a better service in our long-term planning, our view to infrastructure and the way we signal trains? We're taking in over 100 trains a week, peaking at 125. Uh, and what we need is a, a lot of forward planning. So on signalling, on infrastructure changes, we do it here. So we're working on a, a four to ten year time span. We would ask that Network Rail are doing the same sort of uh, time span as well and we're talking and communicating about what those impacts could be because the rail links are pivotal to our operations here and without them uh, we would really struggle to maintain that power that the UK grid so badly needs. Thank you very much for showing us around. Thank you. Okay. Let's get into the heart of how a power station and a rail network work together. And I've got two great people here to help me through this. So, tell me your name and role. Hi, my name's Mark Gibbons. I'm Head of Logistics here at Drax Power Station. Excellent. So, how long does it take um, the power station to use a single train? How many trains do we get in here per day? Well, it's a really, really busy operation we have here. And we can have as many as 20 trains in a single day arriving here at the power station from the ports. One of those trains feeds into our domes. And with all the biomass we have here, a single train can feed a city the size of York for about a day. Brilliant. And, and Catherine, just tell me your role, title, and how you fit into the plant here. So I'm Head of Strategy, Policy and Communications for DB Cargo UK. And you're absolutely right. Drax have invested really heavy, heavily in rail freight as part of their operations. In fact, we deliver about 60 trains a week for Drax, which is about 3,000 a year, taking about 192,000 trucks off the already congested road network in the UK every single year. What could we do as Network Rail to give you a better service? So we schedule trains and we rely on reliability and the trains arriving here on time and in their slots so we can tip them here. So really we need all partners to work in collaboration. That might not be just Network Rail but our freight operating companies as well. Just to make sure when there are problems on the network, when we need to put in diversion routes, um, we're all ready for that and we all work together to make sure we still deliver to this site. Or when us as engineers are planning works, we, co we communicate and collaborate and inform customers so that we can plan things mm -hmm. properly. And from a service point of view? Absolutely. I think, it, I think it's fair to say that without rail freight, Drax wouldn't be in operation today because they rely on the stability, certainty and, and reliability that rail freight offers in its operation. So it's, that's why it's really important that we've worked really hard with Network Rail to build a collaborative working relationship. So when there's a risk or an unplanned deviation, we can work together to mitigate that risk for Drax because we know they need to keep the lights switched on. It's lovely to meet you. Thank you. To learn more about the site from a network rail perspective, I caught up with two key members of the freight team. Georgie, Kevin, help me understand how we as network rail interface into the amazing work here. Just run through your job types of first, Georgie. 
So I'm Georgie Newby, the Senior Commercial and Customer Relationships Manager within the Freight Team. Okay, great. So we have got Network Rail and we've got this amazing power plant. How does that work in terms of customers? So it's fair to say that Drax is one of our biggest customers here um, on the network. It's a nationally critical operation and so it's, it's vital really that we keep the services flowing in and out of Drax um, and, and we manage um, any perturbation like operational incidents, weather related incidents, you know the floods that we had back in 2019 um, because millions of people rely on Drax for electric at home and just keeping the lights on. How, how do we keep that running smoothly? So we've got a multi-operator site here with DB Cargo and GB Rail Freight being the main interface between Network Rail and Drax who are the end customer here for us. Um, and between DB Cargo and GB Rail Freight, they operate you know, hundreds of services every week into and out of the site. And really for us, it's just about making sure that we run those services as efficiently as possible, as on time as we can, and just to deliver the, the maximum product in and out of the site. So let me pull you in here, Kevin. So before we get into it, just give me your role title. Yeah, I'm Kevin Newman. I'm the Senior Freight Regional Manager for Eastern Region. And we've heard how important this site is for powering a lot of the UK, those four million homes. And I guess the, the keeping it resilient, keeping it service going is so important. How do we do that as a, a real detail point of view? Well, we help the uh, regions that supply services to Drax, the train services, particularly North, Western, Central and Eastern Region, understand the specifications that Drax have for their train services. That's weight, time, frequency, and then translate that into the exact maintenance schedule so that we can keep the infrastructure resilient. And that infrastructure, when it may not be resilient due to the acts of God, etc. I guess the way that we respond to that is really important as well. And there's Absolutely. examples of that. Yeah, a few years ago, the River Air, just located a mile that way, um, burst its banks. Billions of gallons of water came into the area around Drax. It damaged the train line into Drax, so we had a, a real disruption of service. Um, Network Rail reacted really well in getting repairs done quickly to maintain the train service. Uh, and then we put major emphasis on project work to make the track and the line even more resilient for future weather events. And that's the really good thing about what we're doing here is that those people repairing the embankment and the railway probably didn't realise that the trains that they're then enabling are powering those four million homes. So it's yeah, just great work, isn't it? Yeah, really good work. It was a great teamwork between Drax, ourselves and the freight operators that Georgie looks after. Brilliant stuff. So let me summarise what Rail Freight is doing here with Drax Power Station. It was relentless. Did you realise that we, as a Rail Freight operations team, were that important? Did we realise that? It's amazing what difference we are making. So follow me to the next episode in Felixstowe Port, Britain's busiest port, where we're going to see how the Rail Freight operations there are key for keeping things moving around the whole of Great Britain.